Indeed, it is painful to say goodbye. But sometimes when you think about saying goodbye to something that seems insignificant to other people, it may not be understood very well by those that are looking at you. And today we are talking about the loss of a dog. And we want to thank you for watching this show, Painful Goodbyes. I am Skumbuzo Dube. To help us in this show is Mkululi. Welcome, sir. Thank you for having me and hello at home. Thank you. Thank you. Who is Mkululi? Maybe we may need to know who Mkululi is. Okay. Um, Mkululi is a journalist, uh, is a father, is a Christian, is a rural boy, is a sports lover, is a dog lover. He's everything. I love traditional food. I love singing. I love watching soccer. I love so many things. So I'm um, so many things in, in one. Yes, I don't know how all those things come into one person, but I, I understand where you are coming from. Um, you spoke about uh, also loving dogs. Uh, maybe you can tell us about that love for dogs. When did it start? I'm one person who grew up in a rural setup. So growing up in a rural area is almost, uh, we can say, it's taboo for a family or for a homestead to not keep a pet, either a dog or a cat. But for most, uh, most families, you find a dog is a must. I, I don't know the reasons, but growing up, maybe you find that when you are heading cattle, it's, it's, it's taboo for a boy to go ahead cattle without a dog accompanying him. Sometimes you have to do hunting and bring some relish at home. So that's, that's the way uh, I, I grew up. And I remember the first dog when I, maybe I was mature enough to recognize things. The, the first dog that we, we, we owned, I fell in love with her. And that's where everything started. And uh, that never died from me. Hmm. And I love the pronoun that you have used. Some would call it, and you said, hey. Maybe just tell us a brief, uh, briefly about that. F for me, a, a dog, maybe not only for me, but you find that many people who keep uh, pets, dogs and cats, these animals become part of the family. So w while someone might say it's an it, uh, to me, it will be like you are degrading it. And maybe even in terms of the treatment that you give to an it and to a she or a him is different. So that's, 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 that's the context of, of that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And, and I think I, I was drawn to the post that you shared on Facebook about your favorite dog. And yeah. you named him Gaddafi. Why, why, why did you name that dog <laughs> Gaddafi? Okay, um, Gaddafi, for many people who know Gaddafi is the former lead, uh, Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi. He was a strong man, uh, maybe not getting into politics. He was a strong man. And what I wanted in my Gaddafi was this strength part of it. And being the bridge that he was, then I, I knew he was going to deliver that. So that's why I thought of that name. And then I said, he will be Gaddafi, a strong man. So, wow. so what type of a dog was he maybe in terms of the breed and also relationally? Okay. Uh, Gaddafi was a, a boa bull. Um, boa bulls, mostly they are common with the, the big head. So that's, that's, that's the common feature of a, of, of a boa bull. They are also quite large, very large, that sometimes uh, trying to walk with him if he's not well trained, it could be a struggle, he, he will be pulling you. So he, that's, that's him in terms of the breed. Then he, he was a, a lovely dog. I, I, I'm a family person with uh, three kids. So he was part of, he was part of the family. He loved walking in the morning, we'll take him for, for walks or jokes. Uh, he loved eating, eating meat very much. He loved eating meat very much. So you have to make sure that every time when he's being fed, there has to be some meat on, 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 on his plate. And he, he was a well-behaved dog. You tell him to, to sleep 
or sit, he, he will do that. Any order that you, you, you give him. I didn't take him for, for a serious training, but just um, the, 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 the normal, the easy training that one could give a dog without the expertise. That's what I did with him. And he managed to capture what I wanted him to learn. And that's, that's our relationship. Hey. What a beautiful relationship it was uh, between Gaddafi and Kululi. After the break, we'll hear more on this story. Just stay tuned. It's painful to say goodbye. It's hard to say. Welcome back to the show, Painful Goodbyes. If you are joining us today, we're talking about the loss of a pet and uh, a very special pet called Gaddafi. To help us in this is Mkululi and uh, he has shared what a beautiful dog it was. And I say it was, but he has been saying, no, 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 he was. Yeah. What a beautiful dog he was. And this is a very important uh, thing that he spoke about. So what happened to Gaddafi? Okay, um, I started staying with Gaddafi, I think it was 2014. So all this time, everything was good. Jury, you take him for vaccinations, uh, deworming, all the necessary things, bathing him. So then just about a month before he died, he started swelling on his right leg. I took him to vet guys. They could not really pick what it was. Initially, I thought maybe it was a fracture, mm -hmm. but I could not explain what would have caused the fracture because he, he hardly goes out of the house without my care. Or, okay. So it, it was a bit of a mystery what really was uh, the challenge. Mm -hmm. So I, I took him to the SPCA and then the government vet uh, offices. Mm -hmm. And they could just give him injections, but daily the swelling was increasing. Mm -hmm. And the, the, you, you could see that he was in pain. Mm -hmm. So I was almost at a loss in, in terms of what to do, because I, I, I did everything that I could have done to, to have him attended but there was no solution. It's almost like you are giving me an injection today, tomorrow the swelling is just more than it was yesterday. So that was the, the struggle. And I, I, for me mostly, I, was, I, I wanted to know what really is the cause. The cause yeah. That was the challenge, but I, I could not figure out, the vet guys could not figure out. Mm -hmm. So that was the challenge and the, the, the pain he was visibly in pain mm -hmm. because he, he could no longer use the leg. So it, it meant the big body being carried on three legs. That was really a, a, a challenge. And you could tell he was in pain because when I usually open the gate, I'm coming from work, mm -hmm. he's the first to, to welcome me. Mm -hmm. He will jump and as days went by, he could not do that. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was the challenge. Hmm. Okay. So um, I'm just looking at what emotions maybe uh, came through to you as you were thinking about the pain that he's going through. Yeah, he, it was it was it was said. It was said in the sense that you 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 know he can't help himself. He's looking upon you to to do that help. I remember days leading to his death, mm -hmm. I will open my car, maybe I'm going to work or I'm taking kids to school. Mm -hmm. He will want to squeeze in because I was taking him to the vet where he was given uh, injections for pain. Mm -hmm. So I, that's how I interpreted him. He wanted to have those injections. Mm -hmm. So it will be a struggle taking him out. He would really try by all means to, if he, once the door, the car door is opened, he, he wants to get in. Mm. So that was the struggle. And just watching him losing the strength, 
losing the the activities that he used to do and I, I could no longer work with him. Um, it, it, it became a challenge. Mm. So I, and until one of the vet guys said that maybe we need to take him for a scan okay. or an x-ray just to see what's, what's happening. Yeah, it's just that, um, you know, the, these dogs, maybe one thing that I, I, I did not uh, say mm -hmm. is the fact that in Zimbabwe, normally a puppy of a boar bull will cost you plus 450 United States dollars. Okay. So taking care of him is it's not just a normal a normal dog, so to speak. There is value in terms of what he does, security, uh, and just that value, knowing that I'm keeping something that's worth something mm. in terms of of the finances. But I, I was willing to to do anything to spend uh, because taking him to to the vet, the the X-ray will cost you hundred US dollars. Mm. So that process is is not maybe something that any normal person who's, who does not love dog may be, may be willing to, to go through. So what then happened is I had to go find out how much it cost, and then I took him there. Hmm. Uh, but wh when I took him there, I, I remember the, the swelling, had, it, it's almost a wound was opening, hmm. and some pus started coming out. Hmm. So that really was really of an emergency, so to speak, on, on, on my part. So I took him there to the private vet guys and uh, getting there, then the, 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 the doctor um, requested that maybe I leave him so that he could have a look at him mm. to just check what's happening. I remember I went with him in the morning and he had promised to call, say, before, before 3 p.m. But the call came around, it was 18 past one. Mm. in the afternoon when I received the call. He, he had done the x-ray. Mm. And the, um, I remember him saying, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Ngobe, I don't have good news for you. Hey. Your, your dog has cancer, bone cancer, mm. and it has spread throughout the body. So <sighs> there's really nothing that we can do, but you need to rush uh, to the vet clinic. So I had to go back there, and then when I got there, he, he showed me the, the x-ray that he had done, and that's when I saw that um, it was terrible, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So then came this fateful day when Gaddafi died. Maybe okay. you can tell us about that day. E everything happened on one day, mm. on that day. That very yes, uh, because they had taken the, the scan mm. and it has showed that the, 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 there was no other way. Mm. Uh, painfully, to, uh, as it was, it was the best decision to, to put him down. So I, after s checking the, the scan, he took uh, me to the room where he was. He was on a table and when I, I, I unfortunately, I was, I was already crying by then. It was, it was really sad, especially when I saw the, the, the scan. Mm. Because initially I thought maybe I could have been f at, at fault in terms of the, the cause of the swelling. Okay. But when I saw the scan then, I, it, it freed me in a way to say, okay, there's nothing wrong in terms of what you did. So I went to the room where he was, saw him, I called him Gaddafi. He lifted up his hand, his head. Uh, I gave him a strong hug and a kiss. Mm. Um, yeah, but I, I was in tears. Mm. I was in tears. But it, it was the time to, to say goodbye. Mm. So then he was given the injection and peacefully he slept. Mm. So that's, that's how he died. And then I had to, I was given the option to say, you can give him to private people who do the burials. Yeah. There are people who actually who, who bury dogs. Uh, but I did not take that option I, I, because he was a family dog. Mm. So the family, the other family members were not there. I needed to take him home so that they also have their goodbyes with him and then we, we lay him to rest. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
So as I'm looking at this, I think you must be having some struggles um, now that Gaddafi is gone. What could be those struggles that you're having? The most one is my, 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 my young boy is, is three years. Mm. He's always asking, Daddy, where is Gaddafi? Mm. So you, you are trying to deal with the goodbye that we have done to him. Mm. And then he's, those questions come up. Even some of the neighbors who, who knew him, mm. sometimes when they come, where is Gaddafi? Mm. There are those uh, issues. And then it, it sort of affects your roots because in the morning, you know, you have to do some work with him. Then that is no more. So it's, it's, it's a challenge just accepting that he is gone. Mm. Then because he was part of a family with a relationship with him. It's just like losing any family member. There are those challenges in terms of adjusting. So that is, that, that is the biggest challenge. And he had his food, it was still there. Mm. What do you do? You now have to plan to say, maybe I need to take this and maybe donate to someone. What, what do I do? There, there are so many things. And just in the night, there, there will be some parking. It's silent now. So those are the challenges. Yes, and maybe the parking from next door, maybe I don't know what it does to you in your struggles as you are thinking about Gaddafi. It, that, the, 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 whole, the, 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 the whole scenario comes back. Mm -hmm. The day you are taking him to the vet and, and everything. It, it's a stressful moment, so to speak. Yeah, it, it's, it's really stressful. Mm -hmm. It's really stressful, but in life, sometimes you have to accept that uh, something has happened. And for you maybe to move on, mm -hmm. the first step is accepting that this has happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. What a painful way to part with a very treasured dog, Gaddafi. It seems to the family it was not an easy thing to deal with this kind of a loss. Let's take a short break. We'll meet in the third and final segment. It's painful to say goodbye. It's hard to say I miss you. The time of fall is close and close. I need you now, dear Lord. Welcome back to the third and final segment. This is the show, Painful Goodbyes, and we're talking about the loss of a pet. I'm with Mkululi. If you're just joining us, thank you. Welcome once again. Now, who has helped you cope with this painful goodbye? Um, when this happened, being a journalist, I, 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 I shared my experience on my social media platforms. And quite a, a number of people comforted uh, me in this. I remember two uh, people came forward and um, offered to, to help maybe, should I want to, 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 to have another one? But maybe we could talk about, about that later. But at the family level, I think that's where everything is happening because it, it's a family loss and sometimes talking about the memories uh, we had with him, sometimes taking the phones and viewing some of the pictures that we, that we had with him, I think it, it, it helped. But I also think um, being a Christian, it also helps in, in, in some way. Because the Bible says the dead know that, they, the, the, the living know that they will die, but the dead do not know anything. Yes, it might be speaking about human beings, but to me, the relationship that I had with Gaddafi is, is, is of that nature of a human relationship, even if he was a dog. So he needed to, to rest from the pain that he was suffering. So I, I accepted that it was the best decision to happen to him, to be, to be put down so that he does not... He does not uh, continue with the suffering because there was no other way that we could have done. Maybe if it was a human being, there could have been some things that could have been done. But with him, Gaddafi, it was, it was, it was the best decision to, to, to put him down. And even my sisters, I've got sisters who were not based in Bulawayo. 
they also reached out and said, ha, ah, what a loss. And that, to me, it, 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 it helped. So nothing really written down, but just taking each day as it comes. Mm. 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 You actually hinted at the fact that maybe some, some came and said, okay, we want to help you with another. One. So what, what, what is the direction that you're looking at after the loss of Gaddafi? I, 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 what I know, I cannot live without a dog for, for a long time. I will need another one. Uh, but one of the people who offered, uh, his is, is quite uh, a bit older, is six months. I, I would love a situation whereby maybe I have a puppy so that we start bonding at that level. Because at six months, he has a different bond, he, or he will have a different bond with me. So getting uh, someone a bit youngish, so to speak, then the bonding will be better and I'll be able to, to train him in the direction that I, that, that I want. But there's also another colleague of mine who has also offered to, to give me uh, another one for free. Um, it's, 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 it's a poor pool. So I need to take the family. We go view him and see if we are, we are in love with him and then maybe make a decision there. But definitely, one way or the other, I must have another dog. Maybe he, he might not be the same Gaddafi, but um, I know he will, be, he, will be, he will be a good companion for us as a family. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. There are things that people do to dogs and maybe that, that are not all right. I mean, what would be those things, maybe just for lessons to the general public? I, I think what's, what's important, having a pet, whether it's a dog or it's a cat, make sure that you take good care of him. In Isindebele, there is a word for a dog that they say, umkata which means a, a useless dog, where you see a dog that is very thin, not well-groomed, not well taken care of. You need to, to feed him. A dog need, needs a balanced diet. You need to be able to buy him dog food so that you are, you are able to meet all his uh, requirements in terms of nutrients, yes. Uh, some people, they keep dogs and you, you find that a dog is tied on a tree like throughout the day, that's not good. That's not good. You, you need to give him vaccinations. You need to, to bath him. It's, it's important, you must have, it's, it's just like when a lady is doing grooming, a dog needs that. Uh, a dog needs to sometimes to enter the house and, and, and stay with you. He needs to play with you. So when you are keeping him, a, a, a dog must be in a healthy state. That's the most important thing. So you do everything to make sure that the dog is in a good, healthy state. Then that way, I think everything will be perfect. Some, they even beat dogs. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not good. If, if you train him, or if, you, if, if it's a hare, you are able to communicate, he or she will know this I like, this I don't like. So he's able to, to adjust. So just take good care of a dog. Hmm. Thank you very much. So the, the, after you posted uh, that story on Facebook, maybe you can talk about the reactions that people... Yeah, they, they, they were quite interesting, but from my workmates, there is one who was really... It was almost like a, a ridicule to say, why are, you, why, why are you worrying yourself about a, a dog? There is this lack of understanding for, for many people that ah, a dog is just a dog. I mean, they, 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 there is no value in, in, in a dog. So that was, the, that was the, 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 some of the comments that came in. So I, I had to talk to them. Quite a number of people then were interested in, in, in what I was saying. Then that's when they saw that uh, no, this person is, is really serious about this issue. Y you cannot take this lightly. Well, I, I don't know, some people when they lose their pets, I, I don't know what happens, but maybe sometimes if you lose someone, some will even think of suicide or what. I, I would not have thought of those things, but the magnitude of the pain 
the magnitude of the loss can lead one to to, to, to go to the extreme in terms of, of what you can do. So anyone who has lost something, if, if a person is grieving, the best you can do is to provide support. If, 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 if you can't do that, just saying sorry about your loss, I think um, it, it, it's enough, yes. So no loss is insignificant. That's what I'm actually yes. getting from yes. that. Yeah, so I'm thinking also as an African man, also raised in the culture that boys don't cry. Yes. Why? Why, why would you cry about a dog? I'm reiterating that question, maybe, so that we can get lessons that are important. I, I, I've lost a brother. Um, I know the pain of, of, of losing a brother. It's not the same with uh, losing a dog, but the pain, pain is pain. Yeah, pain is pain. It's, 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 it's very painful. And... We are wired in, we are, we are maybe where God created us differently. I'm an emotional person, naturally. So one of the ways that I cope or I deal with the pain is to cry. So you, you can't suppress that because you are an African man. No, if, if it's painful, you, you deal with the pain. And one of the ways of dealing with pain, I believe, is crying out if you need to. Okay, so amongst those reactions, maybe thinking about the, the, the crying that you did, um, you spoke about the one who ridiculed you at work. Maybe what, what is the other reaction? Maybe that so that you can alert people as to the things that they say and the impact that those things have on those that are in pain. Yeah, some, some were really positive in the sense that even if I, I don't keep a dog, at least I'm able to read that you are, you are not the person that you were yesterday because of what happened to you. So because of that, I, I, I don't understand your pain, but I can see that you are in pain. And for, for that reason, I respect that and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I hope with time you will heal. As they say, time is the greatest healer. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing your story about Gaddafi and I've learned a lot of lessons and I'm hoping you at home have learned a lot of lessons. For me, it's Kumbuzo Duwe and Kululi Nguwe and the team behind the scenes. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm.